Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for May 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, kids, let's dive right in. I have your pre-shuffle here. And it's interesting, Libra, because when I first started connecting to your energy, the first thing I heard was, let's balance it out. And I was like, okay, I mean, that didn't really strike me as anything too specific because Libra is a sign of all about balance and you've even come out here with justice, okay? But then I got into the, the pre-shuffle and I started to see, oh no, this really is an energy of balancing things out, huh? So we have uh, two people <clears throat> or we have two identifying energies. One is... The person that I'm reading for, the other is the other person, or it could be a group of people, okay? What we have on that other side, okay, um, is the Emperor, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Cups, all in reverse, but with that we have Justice. Now Libra, this could be you, okay, or this could be the other person in your life or the other group of people in your life, but... There is a very, 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 very controlling aspect to this situation. Um, strong, strong herd mentality, like pretty vicious, like to the point where if you don't stick with the laws of the group, then you basically have no right to live. It's kind of what that feels like. It feels like they, they either this group of people or this person would be very hostile, very malicious, do everything they can to tear you down, to destroy your sense of self. How dare you, how dare you have the nerve to stand up to me? I'm going to do everything I can in my power to teach you a lesson that I am in control here. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting from this Emperor, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups, all in reverse. But there is justice being served here. Why, Libra? Because someone, either you or the other person, is out the fucking door. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Okay, listen here. So the Three of Wands is talking about the path that you were on with this, these people or this person or whatever this circumstance is for you. You got to a point where it's like, okay, good. We're solid here. We're, we're stable. We're foundational. I kind of get the energy that you learned sufficiently what you needed from this experience, from this path that you have been traveling along in order to reach a new perspective, maybe even a higher perspective, change your alignment, um, come to a level up point of view, and now start to move forward in your life in a greater sense of balance. You have two cards here, Libra, in your pre-shuffle already that speak to balance, justice and the chariot. And the very first thing I heard for your energy was, let's balance the scales. Well, it looks like someone is, in fact, balancing the scales of their life. Now, you do have the seven of cups as your overall energy <clears throat> in all of this. Um, and this either is speaking to the lack of confusion at this point, you've become very clear on things, or you might still be in a bit of confusion, um, or, or, or maybe a little bit of uncertainty because you don't know what's going to come next. But also, ultimately, I feel like this was speaking to the confusion, the, um, the baiting and switching, the gaslighting, the uh, manipulation of this situation. I feel like there was an effort of from someone here, someone involved, again, this could be an int a, a central or a, a specific person, or it could be like a group of people, a hive mentality type thing. But there was definitely an effort to keep someone or to keep others in the dark in order to control, to maintain control of the situation, okay? Woo! All right, Libra. I'm gonna give this one shuffle and then we're gonna get into the rest of the reading here for you, yes? Yes. Okay, then. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see what we've got. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved in terms of general energies for the month of May 2020.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra. Five shuffles. Let's get into this. One. And I am using the Wild Unknown Tarot for your general reading this month. I love this deck. Two. For my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of May 2020. Three. Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Four. And five. Alrighty, kids. Let's cut the deck and see what we've got for you here. All right, Libra. Overall energy. The page of wands. Yes! Re-identifying yourself for sure. And I feel like you're there there is a level of passion and exuberance that you have rediscovered um, for life or for your life. For your life or maybe even for life in general. Uh, definitely, I definitely feel strong inspiration. Um, it could just be that whatever situation you've been dealing with has has finally reached a point for you where it's like, oh, good God, get me out of here now. Like something lit a fire under your ass. Someone said something, someone did something, some, you, you were able to see through somebody's mask even for a brief moment, but that brief moment was way more than you even needed in order to really get the message. So like, okay, now it's it's strikingly clear. Something has lit a fire under your ass, Libra. Underneath that, damn. Damn, the Eight of Wands. Yes, something really has lit a fire under your ass too, hasn't it? Between the Eight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and that Chariot energy that came out in the pre-shuffle, honey, someone is out the door. Out that motherfucking door underneath the three of wands is the world. I told not that three of wands. I'm sorry, the eight of wands. There it is. The completion of the cycle. The ending is here, or the ending is near. Underneath the world, okay, is the four of cups. Underneath the four of cups is the five of pentacles. Um, yeah, that's a com. That's a combo energy. It's because of the disappointment, the lack of fulfillment, uh, the unrequited love, the fear mongering, the uh, the energies of trying to make someone feel less than, um, make someone feeling feel lack like they're lacking in some way, make someone feel in uh, in incapable or. Um, insufficient that's what's coming to an end here that's why this is that that is why this is happening four of cups five of pentacles right okay let's get into the rest of the reading here first half of your reading libra first set of surrounding energies you've got uh -oh, the tower well that makes perfect 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 sense all right and this is like sh this feels like honey this tower can't come come down fast enough <laughs> yikes all right the tower is coupled with there you go the six of wands though you're rising above this really does feel like honey this tower can't come down fast enough let me tell you honey you know what you know what universe let me help you i'm gonna tear this shit down myself okay like i literally feel you or see you or whomever this is resonating for who who is on the Okay, I'll say who is the victim here, even though we're not trying to play the victim card, but who, who if you want to, for, for ease of understanding, whomever is the victim here, I feel like you are clawing yourself out of this situation, tooth and nail, get me the fuck out of here, is kind of what this feels like, okay? Good for you, good for you, six of wands on the tower, man. This definitely is an achievement. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. First half of your reading. Yes, is the sun. Yes. Oh my God, Libra, this is so good. The sun is bringing you illumination. It's bringing you understanding. It's bringing you clarity. But it's also bringing you clear blue skies. The storm is gone. Go ahead and sing it. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yes, but I'm telling you, these scales have been balanced. <laughs> the sun is coupled with the three of cups. Yeah, see, illumination has been brought. Now, the three of cups came out in your pre-shuffle here, but it was reversed. And it was talking about that 
narcissistic energy or that hive mind to mentality. <clears throat> And I, what I feel like is here, if sufficient illumination has been brought upon this circumstance for you to see clearly which way for you you need to go. All right? This, it, I, it's, it's clear as day. You can't miss it any longer. You can't hide from it any longer. You can't deny it any longer. It's way too fucking bright and clear and like straight up in your face at this point. And not just your face. It's not just apparent to you. It's not just obvious to you. It's fairly obvious to a lot of other people. However, how they're going to handle it is completely on them. That has nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your business. All you really have control over is how you handle it. And right now, it looks like you're handling it by clawing yourself out of there. Exit stage right. That kind of energy. Who was that? Was that? I don't remember what, char what cartoon character that was. Anyway. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. That wasn't the Pink Panther, was it? I don't think so. Anyway, challenge is the Two of Wands. So where do we go from here? 11-11. Where do we go from here, Libra? It's like, okay, you know you have to get out of this circumstance, but where do we go? Where am I heading? Where is this taking me? Some of you have a choice, an option on how to move forward. Like, you have two different ways to go. Maybe you have more diff more ways to go. I just feel like this Two of Wands energy for you, Libra, is like, how do I move forward from here? Which direction do I... I know I gotta go somewhere. Which direction do I move in? Two of Wands is coupled with the Knight of Swords. All right, well, you could have, if there are narcissists around you, if you're dealing with narcissists, you could have them coming at you being like, you can't do this. How dare you, do, how dare you make a choice without in, including me? This person, this person, this energy is so entitled, it's, it's sickening. Like, who is this person, Libra? Is this you? I really hope it's not you. Because that's gross. That's really fucking gross. And you need to leave that far behind. Woo! Honey, please. Closing message or, or, or um, um, potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Libra. Oh, well, shit. We're followed that by the Two of Swords. You know what, though? I do feel like this Knight of Swords energy is someone coming at you trying to change your mind, trying to convince you that you can't go anywhere, that you're not good enough, blah, blah, blah. And what I'm seeing here with the Two of Swords is... I can't... La, 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 I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That kind of energy. Like, put those blinders on and do not even think about taking them off. This is a moment where the denial that you've been swimming in for so long is actually going to help you. Because the more you deny what this individual, this Knight of Swords, has to say to you in response to whatever choice you're trying to make, the more you deny that, the more you, are, you refuse to listen or even give that any sort of attention, the better off you'll be. Okay? Two of Swords is coupled with the page. Yes, the Page of Pentacles. This is that new life, that new start, the level up. Focus here. Don't allow yourself to 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 accept or or entertain anything other than what is going to facilitate your next level, your step up, your level up, your next move, your next power play, even. Right. Because the more someone tries to stop you, the more desperate they are. That's kind of how this feels at the moment. So keep that in mind. First, uh, let's get into the second half of your reading here, Libra. First set of surrounding energies for you. Okay, the Queen of Wands. This is you. Whether you're a man or a woman, it really does not matter. The Queen of Wands is, to me as a reader, is a, is a physical embodiment of the law of attraction. So your focus needs to be less on this person, right, or the energies that this represents for you, and more on what it is you wish to receive, which means that you are going to have to pay very close attention to what you're aligning with, where your alignment is, Okay. That's that, Libra, is your focus right now. Not on what this other, this, this other person or these other individuals have to say, like this hive mind mentality bullshit. No, 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 no. Fuck that. Focus here. 
What do you desire, Libra? Because it's your time to shine. It's time for you to go after it. It's time for you to receive it. Damn it. Stop putting it off. <laughs> Says your inner higher self. Yeah, the Queen of Wands is coupled with. Oh, judgment. I love it, Libra. Waking up. Waking up to what you do. You know what, though? This really feels like, Libra, this is you waking up to the fact that you actually are capable of doing exactly what it is you want, whenever the fuck you want it, regardless of what anybody else has to say about it. Like, you can fuck all the way off if you don't like it, is basically how this feels. I mean, sure, there's a lot of anger, aggression, resentment that's coming through with that message, but ultimately, you are going to have to elevate yourself or move through those energies to reach this higher vibrational state so if that's what's coming up for you right now libra then by all means honor it allow yourself to release the lower vibrational negative energy so that you can get into the alignment with what it is you truly desire okay yes libra Talk about balancing them scales. I know that shit is right. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading. The Six of Swords. Beautiful. Moving from rough waters to calmer waters, leaving the past behind. That's really a point blank all there is to that one. Six of Swords is coupled with that. Ooh, 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 the star, honey. Libra. Look, you're doing the damn thing, girl. Boy. All y'all. You're doing the damn thing. Okay. You're leaving the past behind that no longer serves you in order for greater self-fulfillment. Now, the journey of this star here, don't get me wrong, I am picking up on there are going to be some more road bumps in the road. But ultimately, this path is leading you where you're, how you're moving forward is leading you towards not only ultimate wish fulfillment, but healing. And I want to say the, the path that you're on right now, the trajectory that you're flowing with right now is one of pretty intense healing. It's more so about healing than anything else. That's the focus of this right now. Because ultimately, the universe is well aware that when you get this, or your higher self is aware also, when you get this healing under your belt, nothing can stop you from getting anything that you want. It's not about getting one thing specifically or one big desire that you want. It's about clearing your energetic space and healing so that you can be in the position to get everything you wanted not just one or two things no 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 bitch we're thinking higher we're aiming bigger here okay everything i want everything you, you know what i mean that kind of <laughs> i am so extra right now but i'm 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 vibing with this with you libra because i really like this even though it was tumultuous in the beginning but it feels like now is Libra is shaking and baking, honey. <laughs> your challenge, Libra, in the second half of your reading here, we have woo -woo, the Queen of Cups. But you've got to face your emotions. There are, some, there are some discrepancies in there, Libra, that I feel like you have been pushing aside in, or, in order to serve others. But now it's time to serve yourself by dealing with your emotions. Yes, I told you there are some things that are going to come up, Libra, and some pretty nasty things too. Things that you may not even really be proud of. Things that you, or feelings, or emotions, or thoughts, or beliefs even, that you are under the understanding would be out of character for you. But what I feel like here is you've been hiding this part of yourself for a very long time. Or you've been, you've buried this pain for so long that now it's, starting to fester and it's become it's it's like evolved into this like awful putrid horrifying being that is nowhere near who you truly are but because something has been denied for so long it's just festered and gotten bigger and worse right so your challenge right now or at least in the second half of the reading here for you libra is to face your emotions queen of cups okay queen of cups is coupled with the Two of Cups. There is reconciliation that needs to happen within, internally, between the masculine and feminine energies within you. And it may very well be that you are under the control of this narcissistic uh, individual or group of people because there was an over-dominance of masculine energy within this environment that everybody was of, as, under the effects of, okay? Not just you. You 
are awakening, okay? So you're rising above it. They're all just kind of still swimming in the muck. That's fine. Let them do that. That's their problem or that's their process. But here for you, Libra, part of what was the problem here is there was an over emphasis of masculine energy. And with this Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups coming out as your challenge here, your emotions need to be explored. They need to be honored. They need to be observed, respected. Your inner feminine needs validation needs to be recognized needs to be seen needs to be heard and there's a balance that needs to happen between the masculine and feminine energies within you and quite frankly if you had that balance of masculine and feminine energy you would never have found yourself in this overly toxic narcissistic type of controlling situation because the energies within you would have been would have been balanced and you would not have been in alignment with it understand though no one is passing judgment on you here for being in alignment with something that was so out of balance ultimately you needed to learn through or experience that to learn something release something blah 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 what not whatever and now you're coming out on the other end of it with the ability to balance or the opportunity to balance and harmonize these energies to balance the scales right Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading here, we have... Oop, there's that Seven of Cups again. Huh. Okay, I'm asking why. Um, and as I was putting the Seven of Cups down, it hit the Page of Pentacles. So the Seven of Cups has to do with some uncertainty about the future here. I feel like you have been, or someone here... Maybe a group of you, whomever, it doesn't matter. Somebody here has been so much under the control of other people, i.e. narcissists, that you don't necessarily know. It's not that you don't know how to care for yourself. It's you don't, you don't know where to start. I mean, you, you know how to care for yourself because you learned how to care for others. So, okay, easy peasy. I just do that for myself. But wait a second. How, where do I even start? That's what this feels like. Seven of Cups is coupled with ooh, that Nine of Pentacles. Yes, see, this is a good thing, but this is exactly like, okay, but where do I start? Because now you're independent. Now you're self-sufficient. Now you're standing on your own. Now you're that badass yourself that you always wanted to be, or quite frankly, you already always knew you were 22, 22 on the counter. And now you are being faced with the opportunity to do for yourself. And you're like, where the fuck do I start? That's okay. This is a good this is a good problem to have, Libra. Especially coming out of what you, what you were just coming out of, honey. This is a very good problem to have. Okay? I can assure you of that. Don't be afraid. Just keep moving. Keep trucking. You will learn as you continue going. To, you, you pull on the experience that you had in the past. Okay, well, if I were dealing with so-and-so still and they needed something, what would I do for them? Okay, well, I would do X, Y, Z all the way around to A, B, C, N, D. Okay, so let's do that for myself then. Answers that question. There you go. Again, this is a good problem to have, Libra. Mm-hmm, because why? You're taking care of your own self. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> All right, Libra. Let's close out this reading for you here with some oracle guidance from the unicorns. And then I'm going to get into your love messages for the month, which can be found on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations, or the link can be found in the description box below skis. Yes. Excellent. One last shuffle. All right, Libra. Closing message from the unicorns here. There you go. All right. Overall energy is you have the flow at the bottom of the deck. So this says find an easier path forwards, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. Okay, good. However, I do already, I feel like you've already entered into this energy. The flow is where you are now. And mainly in terms of finding an easier path forwards. Well, that easier path forwards kind of feels like leaving behind whatever circumstances these have been. You have magic, though. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. So this is kind of saying to you, honey, anything is possible. If you want it, just believe it. You'll get it. And then, and then you have intention. Be clear and decisive. Focus on what you really want. Be bold with your requests to the universe. 
Again, the universe is not in the process of telling or in the business of telling you no, Libra. I, did I say this to you? I th actually, I think I was saying it to Virgo, but the universe is not in the business of saying no. They will say, however, you know what? I see what you want there, but I actually have this. This is actually a lot better for you. Okay. So be very clear about what you want and be bold. I, if you want something big, then damn it, ask for it. You'll either get that or something bigger. You know what I mean? But you have to believe in magic, Libra. Now, now is the time to reinstate your belief in magic. Yes? Okay, Libra, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm going to do your love reading next, which again will be found on Patreon. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of Ajinskis. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye.